Hi, I'm Bart Simpson from Metal Roofing Online. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the shear line gutter um, onto a timber fascia. Now, you need to order the shear line internal gutter clips to go with it and also the shear line stop ends, which I've got a pair of over there, so you need one on each end. Um, before you get started, you need to work out where you're going to put the downpipe. On this structure that I've got here, I'm going to fall all the water to this end and I'm going to put the downpipe down this end. Uh, this is approximately four meters long, this structure, so I'm going to give it about 20 mil of fall. So I need to measure the height of the internal clip here, the back of it, which is 85 mil. So at this end, I will mark it 105 millimetres down from the top of the fascia there. And I just need to put a screw in there to attach my string line to. And I'll go down to the other end and that's going to be my high end. So I'm going to make it the same, the same depth as, as the back of the clip there, which is 85 mil. Okay, so that's the string line set up. So I've basically given it 20 mil of fall down this way to where I've got the downpipe at this end here. Now my internal clips, uh, it's best not to put these any further than a meter apart. So anything less than a meter is a, is a good idea, around 900 or 950 mil apart. Um, that's what, that's what the, um, how often you're supposed to put those. My first one I'll put 200 mil in from the end here and the same at the other end 200 mil in and then my other intermediate clips will be about 950 mil apart And so with these internal gutter clips, you just separate them because they come in um, packs of five, so you just separate them. And what I'm going to do is, the, uh, the bottom of that internal clip there, I'm going to run along exactly to the top of the string line and that creates my fall. Okay, once you've got all those internal clips up, just make sure that the um, string line's still sitting straight and none of those clips are pushing down on it too much. Um, that all looks pretty good. So now I can take this string line away. Uh, 
Um, before I cut the gutter, I'll just work out where I'm going to put this downpipe at this end here. I might try and squeeze it in down the end next to on this side of the clip. So I'll just measure to the center that center of that downpipe. I'm going to make that 105 mil to the center of that downpipe so that when I'm marking out the gutter I'll know where that goes and also the length of the gutter I've got to cut the gutter to put the stop ends on so I'll measure this exactly from the outside of this fascia here to the outside of the other end four one five five Okay, now we'll go across to the gutter and I'll show you how to put the stop ends on and cut the gutter. Okay, so I've got my a pair of stop ends here on the ground and my 100 by 75 pop that I'm going to be using on this occasion. The, this end of the gutter's already cut. This is my nice edge that's already cut here. Now I've just got to cut down the other end. So I'll show you how to do that. My length was 4155, so Just mark it exactly 4155. And then I just need my square. Make sure you cut that gutter nice and straight because you don't want the stop end to be sitting on an angle. So just make sure you cut those along those lines perfectly. Just take the plastic off this gutter next. And also take the plastic off the stop ends. Now some of the uh, different brands of stop ends go on the insides but these ones for the shear line gutter they go around the outside of the gutter. Now with these stop ends I usually put two, two rivets in the front there, two in the bottom and just one in the back. Um, just make sure when you're drilling out these holes that you hold the stop end nice and still when you're drilling those.
Okay, that's that stop end done. I'll just do the one down the other side and put the um, downpipe pop in as well. Okay, now I'll just double check the measurements of my where I'm going to put my downpipe pop in. Okay, so my downpipe pop, I'm going to make 105 mil to the center of the downpipe um, from the end there. So I've measured from there 105 mil. I'll just place that in the center like that, and I'll just mark out the inside of the pop. Then I cut my cut my lines three mil wider than the um, than the marks I've got there, and that pop should slide through the hole. There we go. And I won't put that pop in until I've got the gutter hung on the um, on the gutter clips there. It's a bit easier to install the um, the pop once the gutter's in place. Okay, to hang this gutter on the gutter clips, you want to get the bead of the gutter here over the bead of the clips and just let it hang down at first. Like so, and then just let it hang there like that. Now we try and make sure that we're in the right position because the gutter's very difficult to move once you've got it hooked onto the bottom bit. It's very difficult to slide it. So I'll just make sure I've got it right first. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now we just roll the gutter up and hook it up underneath the, uh, the bottom of the clip there. If you come underneath here, you'll see, you'll see how these clips are just jutting underneath the bottom of the, um, the gutter there. Okay, once that's on, on those like that, then we just come back across to the top of the um, gutter here again and there's a small portion of gutter clip here that we just roll underneath the gutter like so. I'll show you on this next one, this bit that's jutting out like that, we bend it underneath there and back underneath the gutter which holds it in place. Okay, and that's pretty solid like that. Um, all we've got left to do is to put this downpipe pop in and put a bit of silicon around the stop ends and I'll show you how to do that.
Okay, now we'll clean all that swarf away. Put some silicon in there. Because this silicon needs to go between the um, between the pop and the bottom of the gutter. And we put this pop on top of that silicon, like so. It looks a bit neater if you put these rivets in from underneath. Sometimes those rivets don't quite fit. So you just need to drill out those holes a bit more. With the two rivets at the back of the downpipe pop there, no one can really see at the back there. So you can put these rivets in from the top. And last but not least, we just put all the silicon around the ends of the uh, the ends of the stop ends, so that there's no gaps where water can come through. Make sure all that silicon's nicely rubbed in. And just down at the other end there, I've got one more stop end to do. Get rid of all the excess silicon off your finger. Okay, uh, that's been how to install the, um, the shear line gutter onto a timber fascia. I'm Darren from Metal Roofing Online. Thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of our YouTube instructional videos. I'm Darren. And I'm Lily. We are part of the customer service team here at Metal Roofing Online. If we've been able to bring you any value here today, the greatest compliment you could give us is liking, loving and sharing this video online with everyone you know. Make sure to tag us as we love hearing from our followers. If you need any roofing materials, please head across to our website and take a look at the fantastic prices we offer and our huge delivery coverage across Australia. If you have any questions at all, please email or call us as we would be happy to help you.